Here we'll go a bit more into the pose settings on your human component. And as we talked about, you can jump between a sitting preset or a standing preset, and all that's going to do is adjust these various angles underneath in the body and the right side arm and leg to whatever they need to be to put the body in that position. Now once it's in this position, you're welcome to adjust these parameters as you want. You can adjust your hip angles. So you could recreate a sitting position if you wanted to by moving some of these around and adjusting the values. But usually it's faster to just pop it into a sitting position and then you can adjust them a little bit, maybe adjust the angles in, however you need to position the body. Now, just notice that as you're playing around with these angles, each one of them controls a specific angle on the skeleton underneath the mesh. And if you want to, you can turn off the right-left symmetry, and now you can start adjusting things simultaneously for left and right sides, independent of each other. Now, you can see that there are a lot of controls here to get through. You can put this person into all sorts of different poses, and in some cases, if you turn it you know, really far, the mesh is going to try and follow the skeleton, but, I mean, physiologically, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And that's okay. It's not really meant to be physically accurate. It's meant to be representative. But just as a little bit of fun and a preview to, say, variable presets, we've turned off right-left symmetry, and I have selected all of these parameters here to have a certain value. And if I click Apply, you can have saved poses in your variable presets, and you can quickly apply those values and set a person up. So, again... The human component is incredibly powerful, very useful, and really interesting. And the way that it uses the mesh around the skeleton is really novel for OpenVSP and how it manipulates geometry. So I encourage you to play with this component, manipulate some of the settings, get a feel for how it's used, and then implement that in some of your models.